Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Place of Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, last run was one of the best Eden starts we've ever had, and it translated to a very, very easy win. This one, we got Polyphemus right off the bat, uh, and my best friend, which is terrible, but a great uh, starting HP and damage stat. CL82ZS2P. Uh, Northern Lion's unbelievable luck appears to continue. We'll start the the quest towards uh, getting that Tinted Rock there. I actually wasn't sure of the range of My Best Friend, but it turns out My Best Friend is totally... Uh, it has the range necessary to hit a, a Tinted Rock that's three blocks away. And kind of is like a... I would describe it as maybe a shittier version of Mr. Boom, just because it's, it's not uh, able to be used as often. But it doesn't mean it's useless. Um, it Eden is a weird beast, and I, I talk about this a lot, but... Um, you get to use items early in the game that normally you would only encounter after already having an item that's probably better than it. Uh, and in this case, we don't have any spacebar item to start with, so we don't have to go through that, oh, is it worth taking my best friend? Because it is worth taking my best friend. Yes, we will take soy milk. So, we have soy milk polyphemus. How does this work? I have no idea. <laughs> it still seems to be doing quite a lot of damage, I have to admit, and that makes me very excited to be uh, on this wild ride that we have here. Oh my god, it's an XL floor as well, so we're getting a deal with the devil right off the bat. I didn't even notice. Thank god we got that Tinted Rock right off the bat. Uh, we get Virgo as well. Virgo is fine. Uh, all good pill effects. We are just uh, the prettiest girl at the ball right now. This is probably the best soy milk damage I've seen in a long time, and especially the best soy milk damage I've seen early. This is, this is pretty wild. Um, are our boss rooms not adjacent to one another, or what, what the heck's going on with that? I have seen that once before, I'm not sure if it was in vanilla or if it was in Rebirth, but where our boss rooms on an XL floor were like separated? That, that's, uh, hopefully somebody remembers what episode number that is, because that sounds like a fucking lie. But I swear it exists in my memory. If I am misremembering, I apologize. It seems like something that shouldn't be possible. I'm pretty sure I saw it once, though. Just the one time, and it was like, I, I, at the time, I was like, oh, that was real weird. But anyway, uh, this this is really good. Surprisingly good, considering the obvious item that we picked up uh, that that normally, most of the time, causes some problems. But uh, let's see how it faces up against these bosses. Honestly, we're doing really, really good damage to Monstro. I'm going to save my best friend for whoever our second enemy is. Um, hoping that it's an enemy that doesn't jump, because jumping is going to be a little bit of a hard counter to my best friend. We might be able to make it work anyway, but, um, I don't know. And hopefully we get a great deal with the devil here. Like, a death's touch again would be awesome. Caffeine pill? We get exclusively good pills. So I'll, I'll take the speed upgrade and, uh, a range down, nothing wrong with that. Or range up, sorry, nothing wrong with that. Especially if we get Libra now, this is like the ideal run, right? Although maybe with Polyphemus that would fuck us, or maybe it would make us substantially better, I don't know. Jesus Juice, oh my god, it's like exactly the same deal with the devil as last time. We'll take Rodden Baby, we'll take Whore of Babylon, and we'll take Gimpy to put us in the Whore of Babylon state. So now we're Whore of Babylon, Soy Milk, Polyphemus, Rodden Baby. Um, this is pretty, pretty awesome, I think. How much damage are we doing? A, a lot, actually, a lot. <laughs> Hopefully, we can get some uh, Balls of Steel pills, or, or other... HP upgrades of kind of a flexible nature. I don't really want HP ups right now because of Horror of Babylon, but I really, really also do not want to die because this is a spectacular soy milk run right here. Lump of coal? Oh my god. We already have great damage with soy milk, so the normal synergies just get even better. Like lump of coal, piercing shots, anything along those lines is gonna be so awesome for us that I am I'm in, man. I'm invested. Are you a wizard? That less excited about that, admittedly. Blank card. Hmm. Blank card. Why not, right? We're not doing anything really with my best friend. We can probably buy blank card. Ooh, not quite blank card and a uh, spirit heart. So let's buy the spirit heart first. We're one cent away. Oh, we could have blown up our donation machine there. Instead, I blew this up to get a pill. Pill is I can see forever, okay, and I can see forever has garnered us a uh, fortune teller we probably don't want to take too much advantage of right now. This will be a good test for us. Uh, Peep is an enemy that is pretty darn tanky. Stop peeing! <laughs> uh, at least we got some invincibility so we can stand in there. Wow, that gave us such a long period of invincibility. Easy to kill Peep without worrying about anything there. 
We did get a deal with the Devil. We probably can't take any deals, though. So Krampus would be ideal, and it is Krampus. And now Lump of Coal would just be an unbelievable boon for us. Come on, you can do it. Make this the dream run. Ay, 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 ay. Well, okay, let's be realistic. Krampus' head is better than my best friend. We want to take blank card from this floor either way. Uh, but uh, we can at least use Krampus' head once or twice on a shitty room. Like, what about this one right here? It doesn't bother me. We have a golden... Ah, very smart. We have a golden poop. That's enough money to buy it. And now we get butt bombs, which gives us some extra bombs as well. We'll use these bombs to open this. Small rock would be very, very nice. But instead, we'll just take one spirit heart. Inside of our double key room is a six room. I can't do it. This is not me being a pussy. This is this being the one fucking workable, awesome soy milk run that you dream about in your dreams of dreams for years and years and years. Yes, this run is good, and I expect we'd we'd reroll it into something worse. However, this is also just literally like a one in fifty soy milk run. It's not a one in a million, you know. That's a little bit unrealistic, but uh, it's a one in fifty soy milk run. Once you get soy milk, you don't very often expect it to work out as amazingly as this one did. So I am not going to look a gift horse in the mouth on that one. I'm not going to re-roll. I'll waste my two keys and I'll I'll be goddamn okay with it, okay? We should get that. We might as well get that. The bean is basically terrible for us. We're looking at this point for any... Well, I mean, probably a deal with the devil chance would be awesome. Uh, if we could become Guppy, that would be incredible. But mostly piercing shots and um, and a, a really good rune or card. And if we can get those, we're, we're in the clear. We might be in the clear already, to be honest with you. I mean, this is not the speed at which you'd be expecting to kill most enemies with, uh, with soy milk. Especially, like, tanky champions. You would not be expecting them to die in four or five soy milk shots. This is kind of historic damage for us. And it... There's plenty of time for it to get better. I mean, we're on the caves, too, six minutes into the game with soy milk. And not really rushing that hard, either. Let's see what we can get up here. No tinted rocks, man. A little bit of a bummer. Oh, one fly is not quite good enough. Okay, we've learned our lesson there. Two flies will do it, though. Two flies! There we go. Kind of baited him into that one. Could use some keys so we could actually get to our shop. I'll tell you what. Just throw that down there and uh, it'll make our life a little easier for dealing with this Joker. Wouldn't mind more spirit hearts either. In fact, just a hero font or um, Well, just a hero font would be awesome, I guess, from a uh, blank card perspective. As you might expect, because it always is. It's arguably maybe the best you can get uh, for blank card. Best synergy you can get for blank card in, in most situations, or many situations at least. Emperor would be very interesting. I'm not going to be too picky considering we have zero right now. Zero anything. A little bit of a tight dodge there. Mega Ma is a kind of notoriously not very tanky boss. Easy fight. No deal with the devil, but I'll take the uh, I'll take the damage upgrade. And I think I'll just head down. Like, we'll get down to the next floor as soon as possible so I can farm up some uh, some tarot cards. And we, we did go to our item room. We didn't go to our shop, but we also didn't have a key. Admittedly, we could have gotten one, but... Uh, is not a guarantee. Very happy we got growth hormones. It is going to be a, a proportional, you know, damage downgrade. I mean, it's an upgrade, but it's a downgrade because of soy milk. But I, I still think it's it's extraordinarily worth it. Let me put it this way. I, I phrased that in a very complicated and needlessly obtuse fashion. That is, it's an objective damage upgrade for us. It's just not as much as it would be if we didn't have soy milk. But we already have soy milk, and we could always use more damage with soy milk, even though it's still pretty good right now. So, um, we're gonna obviously take it. Instead of just leaving it on the ground, which would be a terrible choice. Just, just a heinous mistake. No, I'm used to, like, having to dodge a ton in order to make the soy milk run actually work. Uh, this, in this situation, we have not had to do that. So I'm going to use some bombs here, just to make our lives easier, and, and it, it really did work out extremely well. Let's just focus on this one. That was bad damage on my part. We just want to get this guy down to, well, zero, so when the bar goes to half, he'll be dead. And I don't really care about losing HP unless we go down to three hearts or less, because uh, at four, at least we could take a deal with the devil. 
which we did not get. Instead, we get HP, and to be honest with you, I don't want HP. I don't want raw HP anyway. A little bit of a disappointment, considering it was a relatively difficult boss for us, but uh, it happens. So now, our quest on this floor... Find some spirit hearts. Ooh, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> the soul. I haven't seen that in a little while. Used to get it too much. So much I actually complained a little bit about it. And it was like, fine, you don't want me? I know I can tell when I'm not wanted. When someone explicitly tells me I'm not wanted, I, I can tell. Um, but in this case, I'm extremely excited to have it. Two spirit hearts. And also will deflect bullets. No protection, of course, from beams or... Anything along those lines, but still a, a really, really nice pickup for a multitude of different reasons. We should go back and get that key I left back there. We're so good on time. I need to slow my slow my roll a little bit here. I also need to look up slow your roll on Urban Dictionary so I can, you know, understand what it actually means. I just use it as slow down, but that that could be a mistake of an incalculable degree. Inside of our shop, we're about to find out. Two keys. With soon to be one, obviously. Nun's habit, I think, is worth taking. We're still kind of looking for looking for skulls. I think this will be the last room we do on this floor. Plenty of time to still get a, a tarot card. Like, we're, we're literally going to have ten minutes to look for one. And we got a black card there. I'm not going to take the HP. If I'd found myself in really dire straits, I might have considered it, but... As it is right now, I can't really, but I think we got a great chance of getting out of boss rush. Like teleporting out of boss rush. It's possible. If we got like a if we got a Sagittarius or a Cupid's arrow, I might consider doing boss rush, but it would have to be uh it have to be right. We can't just wing it on that one, unfortunately. Now we don't have a ton of bombs, but uh I still kind of want to check these skulls. So that's nine lives. Uh, I will take it even though it fucks up Horde Babylon for us because it's nine lives. Hopefully we get a deal with the devil that I can trade this uh, HP away for. This is going to really, like, appreciably hamper our damage. So we should probably try to play a little bit more conservatively as a result. More keys. Okay, give me a good bomb room. Give me a good bomb room. And of course now it would have made sense to take HP, but you know. You, you don't know how things are going to go in Isaac until you do them. Otherwise, why would you even do it? It's like when I play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire on stream and people were like, why don't you just Google the answers? Look, it's not... What is it, the, the quote that uh, John F. Kennedy said about going to space? Or doing the, the manned moon landing? It's not because it's easy that we do things, but because it's hard. You know, it's, there's a thrill in the challenge. It's not, a, it's not about getting that A+. It's about proving you know the... Uh, you, you know the material for the A+. And, you you know, you can disagree with that, but I think that's that's very cynical. The education and, you know, challenges, you get out what you put in, man. Don't let it make you jaded. And don't look back in anger, I heard them say. Okay. Really, like, bereft of skulls on this run so far. It's extremely disappointing as someone looking to crack a bunch of them to... Excuse me? Oh, our range just isn't quite high enough. Hoping to get uh, a teleportation card. Maybe we can scam one out of our uh, shop here somehow. Doesn't look like it. We can get a spirit heart. There's just no skulls anywhere. Oh my god, the soul was the MVP of that one right there. If I could fly, this would be a different story. This room would be probably incredible for us, but uh, we can't. And there's our boss fight. Wow, okay, well... We know we don't want to stop uh, yet. We want to we want to try to find a teleportation card. We got tons of time. That's the benefit of well, one of the many benefits of just being very very fast at this point. We also still have an item room to get to, which should be up here. Uh, yeah, very smart decision on my part there. There's our item room. It contains Mr. Mega, which is okay. Uh, it's not incredible but it's okay this run is it's proving to be a little bit trickier than expected and that's kind of cool there's some skulls and probably a secret room for us as well we get a two of clubs which will pop now we have 26 mr mega bombs it's not insignificant almost enough money to buy something from the shop well if you factor in our bombs absolutely enough money to buy something from the shop um <laughs> pardon me um i'll have to get kate for a second excuse me Hello? Hello, my wife? Yeah? Uh, I need to continue using your Steam password. Oh, 
That's okay. Just come over here, enter your password, please. Don't say it out loud because the microphone's still running. I would just want to play Kingdom. This is viral marketing for Kingdom. Kingdom too good. Is it? We, we good? I. You'll, you'll probably need to log out of your own Steam account as well. Login failed. Um, the sorry. password was wrong. What? Kate, my wife, you're killing me here. I end. Okay, I ended the game. Yeah. Let me, let me type again. I think I think we're good. I think we're okay. Thank you. Sorry. That's all right. Uh, we know for the future. <laughs> all right, let's get uh, let's get back into this. I mean, I've still got this thing on my screen that says this account is currently logged in elsewhere. Um, hopefully, that doesn't impair my ability to see anything in the bottom right of the screen. Like, for example, I have no idea what this uh, what this pill is right here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go to scene 11 for a second. I just don't want it to put any, like, sensitive information on the screen. Okay, now it's gone. Beautiful. We're going to go back to scene 8. Cool! Alrighty. Um, let's go... I don't really want to fight our boss yet, but we don't have... You know what? We do have one last opportunity here. Crack into that. Abel. Lovely. Um, where were we? We were looking for a teleport card. It's... I can't believe we're not going to get one. That doesn't mean that we're going to lose the run. It's just a... You know, one of the points of being fast is that access to what is basically like a supercharged item room. But we're not going to have the ability to get there. But, that being said, we still have, uh... A pretty good basis for a run here. Like, still a, a historically high damage soy milk run. What we lack is uh, is Horror Babylon, which we technically already have. We just can't keep ourselves in that state thanks to nine lives. But I do think it's a calculated risk to take nine lives, but I'm, I'm happy we did it. I think that it probably will have a good chance to pay dividends. It may not pay dividends, but it's got a good chance to pay dividends. Alright, these guys are dead. Plenty of time. We don't need to rush any more than this. Get a troll bomb. Uh, we've already been to our curse room. You know what? There's like a couple of individual skulls here. Our pill was a speed upgrade. With this many bombs, I think we owe it to ourselves to check, you know, every single rock we can. It could be worth a free item. Not rock, but every single skull. But I think we might have done that already. And that is, uh, well, hugely disappointing to be honest with you. I should really trade a bomb for a key here. Yeah, that'll that'll work even though it wasn't the direction I wanted to go. Uh, no skulls there. Wow, this is uh, this is surprising. Let's just leave it at that. I mean, I'd love to get to those. I don't know how. I need to like create a bridge, but I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Like, if we put a bomb here, let's just see what happens. Yeah, that pretty much working as I expected it to. All right, well. Uh, it is what it is, you know? I'll survive. I'm just a little surprised. We got no orbitals, so this will be a little bit of a longer mom fight as a result of the fact that we, we can't do any disproportionately high damage to mom itself. Uh, we do... I mean, we're halfway through already, but uh, Rotten Baby is also, like, notoriously slow at actually, like, aggroing and dealing with... Uh, enemies like this, so I wouldn't expect our flies to get in too much. That was my own fault there. If I would not moved, the the soul totally would have protected us from that damage. That time, the rock protected us from that damage. Thank, thanks, Mr. Rock. Dwayne, as I call him, because he is, you know, we, we share a nationality. Okay, take the Polaroid. Check the, the devil room. It's really good. Um, it, it puts us back in the Horror Babylon State, gives us a second guppy item. We gotta try it, right? We have to try soy milk Ipecac. It's fucked our damage. Why is our damage so bad all of a sudden? Oh no, you know why it's bad? Because we're fighting bosses. Let's be realistic here. Dun 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 dun. Okay. It's not quite the the potency I would be expecting, but that's that's all right. 
So why did I do this? Because I was like, well, if we die, we'll just respawn outside of this room anyway. And mostly the other reason I did it is that it's ridiculous. Like, like extremely ridiculous. I think we could live. It's going to be kind of an annoying fight, though. I wish that I had not done this. But it'll be humorous. Can't believe I've taken this long to fucking kill these jerk holes. I'm assuming that our rotten baby flies are going to be like way better now. Okay, mobile enemies are like our fucking kryptonite right now. Ah! There's so many red hearts. There's so many red poops. Oh, that was Virgo invincibility. That's nice. What enemy is left if... If Peep is almost dead, what enemy lived there? Oh, Duke of Flies, like, 300 years away. There we go. Yeah, a surprising lack of potency here. It's like we completely lost, um... Polyphemus when we picked up, uh... I Ipecac or something like that, which I don't think is true, but... It really does seem like the damage has gotten way worse, but of course the hope is that, you know, if we beat this, we'll get a much better item. We did get Gimpy as well. Where's my, uh, where's my spirit hearts, Gimpy? Well, thank God we picked up nine lives. Oh, thank you, Soul, as well. Okay, good. One more wave done. Very, very slowly working our way across here. Oh, very bad damage. Thank you, Gimpy, for your support during this trying time. Hit an enemy once, and they're just, like, off the screen in terms of the knockback. Okay, this is an easy one. Tanky enemies, that, as you might expect, seem to be the most annoying. Non-tanky enemies, just die in one hit. Life's good. Digitally yours. Gimpy's giving us some red hearts, but surprisingly few spirit hearts. I'm just like blanketing the field with Mr. Mega, you know, butt bombs now. There we go, okay. Maybe not as bad as I'd originally expected. We got pretty much the same amount of HP. Actually, we've got like half. <laughs> Could be better. I can't believe Gertie's not dead. We've just been blanketing the fucking field with Ipecac shots. Chubb died first! How does this even make sense? I know Chubb has less HP, but I didn't target it at all. Okay, this one's gonna be annoying. This is one of the worst uh, waves. One of the most difficult, in my opinion. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's understandable. We still got Virgo invincibility, luckily. This is a mess. I hope you can still hear. I have to say hope, because it's just like non-stop explosions right now. Well, it still it continues to be a historic uh, soy milk run. Maybe not in the ways I originally intended. Okay, this one should be easy as well. Non-tanky enemies. Poison clouds that Pin has to jump through. We're getting close to that, like, uh, just pre-horseman wave. Oh, fucking red poops, man. Yeah, this is our pre-horseman wave. We can totally do this. Should probably take the bloat out first, but... I made some moves. Watch out for the eyes. The eyes and the poops are like our biggest enemy right now. As a result of this fucking... Ipecac that I took of my own volition. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. We all know the rest, of course. Throw some extra... Shit on that guy. Oh, 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 oh. Peep, stop jump- Bloat, stop jumping! Okay, we got one. Is the heart dead? No. Okay, so the heart... Once we get, like, to target one enemy, it shouldn't be too bad. And this guy is totally fucked. We can't afford to get hit, like, at all, basically. 
I can't believe at this point in my life, I'm like, man, maybe we should just leave blank card to take Guppy's paw. But this is what a run like this can do to you when you don't have any fucking opportunities to get cards. Like, I, I, I really went down with the best of intentions. Oh, that is creep. That is weirdo. Why the hell did I pick up CAC? It was a slightly suboptimal decision. Now we gotta really like watch out for scythes here. Oh good, scythes take two hits. That's um as a recipe for success. Well, there's too many. There's too many on the screen. It's now up to RNGs to sort this out. The shitty part is that the next wave is not that bad. It would be nice to kill the Fallen as soon as possible. There's too many bombs and poopses! Ah! I blew myself up. Oh. Well, we got Ipecac. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. It's a, it's a totally screwed up situation. Curse of the Blind. Beautiful. Uh, Rotten Baby. Rotten Baby, you have a fly. Just fucking use it. Now, the real fucked up thing here is that we still... I mean, we're doing a lot of damage, but the real fucked up thing is that we still need to not get hit, basically at all, in order to give ourselves this deal with the devil chance. Then if we become guppy, like, all bets are off. I think it's fair to say all bets are already off as a result of this, this weird situation we find ourselves in, but... I think we totally could have beaten Boss Rush were it not for just some some very shitty damage that I admittedly took, but you know, that's that's the cost of doing business in this this absurd run that I've I've tried to foster for us here. Blank card chariot, holy shit, we can actually like do something with this. I'd never thought the dream would be real. Help. <laughs> could have blank carded chariot. Oh, we gotta try. Two spirit hearts at least. Oh god! That's all right, now we can get the spirit hearts for free. But we did fuck our deal with the devil, Chance. Wow, wow. I tried to hit the space bar, you probably heard me like mash it right as, uh, right as the damage came in. Oh, but is this, could this be real? Even ceremonial robes would be awesome. It's Guppy's head, we Guppy now. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Might as well take more HP at this point. If we're rolling on one, we might as well roll on two. All right, so we're gonna have a, a lot of flies. as mom's coin purse. We got Virgo, so there's gonna be something valuable. Range up. Pheromones. Speed up. Are you a wizard? Like I said, something valuable. Fates. Oh, now we can fly again. And that's more HP if we can actually keep it alive. So, I think we've won. Hey, how was your run today? We're in the line. Uh, no, you know, it was pretty pretty normal. We started with Polyphemus as Eden, and then we got soy milk in our first item room, and then we got... Uh, you know, incredible damage. Then we became Guppy. We got blank card, but we like never had any cards to go along with it. It was pretty normal. It was just like a normal run. Nothing abnormal about this run. Loki. Like, I'm, if you're wondering why I'm not using the Chariot card very much, it's because I'm s assuming our damage is going to be much higher uh, with our tiers than with the Chariot. So I might as well, in my opinion, just use the Chariot when uh, when we think we're going to take damage. I think we we will win this run, but we could lose this run. But I don't think we're going to lose this run. Like it's just it's it's too good, right? Or at least should be too good. I don't know. We'll we'll find out one of these days. Oh yeah, that was very poor damage. After the first shot, I probably should have stopped there, considering how lucky we got to not take damage on it. Um. Just keep it going. Oh, 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 can't touch this. There's, I'm, I'm waiting, man. You know, All Star is the, uh, it's the mix up or the mash up du jour right now. Everything's like Lincoln Park plus All Star. You know, All Star plus, uh, you know, Panama by Van Halen. It's all, it's, it's the, the hip one right now. Should probably blank our cherry at that guy instead of just ending his life, but um. One day it's gonna be Grape Lady, man. It's gonna be like Grape Lady Falls genuine mix. Oh, 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 
Oh, oh, it kind of works, right? I mean, that's already, I know that already exists because we solicited it on the NLSS, but I honestly, I think my homemade version right there is a little bit better, if I'm being honest with you. So this is a bit of a tough one because I can't really uh, shoot in this chariot state, but at the same time, I did want the invincibility because not having it scares the shit out of me. You know what would be like just the absolute kiss of death right now? If we get shielded tears on the cathedral. Or on the on the chest, more likely. Like Curse of the Blind, Shielded Tears, we're fucked. Really easy mom's heart fight though. Oh, we're dead, but we killed everything, so the doors will stay open and we get a spirit heart. And every one of those spirit hearts it might have like an extremely disproportionate impact on our chances. Like that time we did not lose a life. Instead, that might save us like four lives, because we'll just be able to get through this room on the first try. Did cost us a spirit heart, but we got through it. So I think maybe any room with bomb flies now becomes like an automatic uh, space bar if we have it. Unfortunately, uh, apparently every room does have uh, bomb flies. They must have misheard me when I said every room with bomb flies. It was a little misinterpretation. I didn't mean I want every room to have bomb flies. Common mistake, maybe uh, ambiguous wording on my part. I apologize for that. Uh, if you could rectify your mistake, that would be awesome. That's a good start. Thank you. Okay. Oh, dead end. All right. Dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end, dead end. It's a dead end. Good. Two spirit hearts. I think we started here. Fuck this room, man. The only reason I'm doing it is so we don't have to do it again. Well, this motherfucker never stay. He takes like 80% different damage depending on what attack he just did. It makes no fucking sense. He's putting himself in a defensive state or something. I don't get it. Another spirit heart. That's huge. Easy. Okay. Really feel like maybe our strategy against uh, Isaac and Blue Baby will be like fire like 10 shots. Right as Isaac's first wave is about to hit, we use our chariot card. That way we get the benefit of the flies um, and also the benefit of the, the chariot card. Maybe get through the first two phases easily like that. Strange run. I, I admire any run though or I enjoy any run. That forces us to think uh, very differently than we normally would, and this is definitely fitting the bill. Wow. Nah, well, I'm, you know, we'll leave that money to make a money tree. Uh, we don't need to go to our curse room, but we should because it is adjacent to our secret room. Good, we did get in, and we got some spiders, which is not so bad. Obviously not the biggest thing we're looking for, but not bad at all. And this is like our ideal room right here. Yeah, give me the super envies. Give me the fistulas. Our run is very well positioned to take them out. Also generates a ton of flies for us. Man, infestation 2 would be so dope if we could just get it, but we probably won't. But if we did, it would be awesome. Alright, I'm assuming this is the right way at this point. Like, look at that! Like... If we hit him with like 10 Ipecac shots, it's like he just shrugs it off. He touches two flies and he dies in one hit. I know flies deal more damage, but come on. The dream play. It sort of worked. It didn't really work. We're still on the second phase, but you know, it was the thought that counts. We did expedite the process of getting through this phase. Thank you, flies. Oh, you just made the biggest mistake of your life, mister. Good, okay. This is such a strange soy milk run. I'm so happy we've had it, though. Because it's much better to have a strange and unusual soy milk run than just like, Oh, we took it, we're dead. We do no damage, we're dead. I'm kidding. Okay, there we go. That was very loud. Let's head down to the next floor. Still got blank card chariot. Blank card just really led me down right now. Dark bum, pretty good. Strange attractor. How could we not take Strange Attractor on this run just for shits and giggles? We'll also take BBF, because you know what? If you don't make the run as hard on yourself as possible, it doesn't truly count as a win, does it? I would love to have the ability to fly again for the third time. Thank you so much. I hope we don't have to go through that room. If we do, we're probably just going to at least get hit. I won't say die. That's a little bit disingenuous. We probably will take damage, though. We play our cards right, we might be able to get through it only getting hit once. Which would be ideal for us right now. And and ever. 
I don't want to talk about what's even happening here. Maybe we want to just cherry a card through that, uh, through that room right now. Or the next time we have one available, at least. Okay, we have found our secret room. Good news! Secret room! Easy. Alright. Alright, we've already been there. <laughs> we got the ability to fly. How could I have forgotten? Speed up. Very useful right now. I've been looking at this run, and I'm like, you know what the big problem with this run is? It isn't shooting 12 bombs out of our face every second that could easily hurt us, and also being surrounded by another large bomb that could easily hurt us and behaves in somewhat unpredictable ways. Um, nor is it our 2 HP. I was like, our speed is just like a little bit too low for me to be excited about it. And some people are probably like, is NL really going to go through the whole run without commenting on the fact that he has... Uh, he has a uh, Master of Unlocking. Apparently, I almost did if it weren't for you. So we're going to chariot through Red Poop Room. Please tell me this isn't a dead end. If it was just a dead end immediately, that would be hilarious. Um, probably our best outcome is if this isn't a dead end. And our second best outcome is if it is a dead end, but we have at least have enough rooms to get a charge to come back. Otherwise, we could just find ourselves dying over and over on that room. And I'm not even being, like needlessly hyperbolic there. I mean that in all sincerity. Oh, an item! Three dollar bill! Well, we gotta be careful. Sometimes this might give us Ipecac. Two of hearts. That seems pretty useful right now. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. I'm not surprised we got hit there. Maybe we can uh, use Chariot card on this room? Like, put a bunch of shots in the air and then pop Ipecac. Or, sorry, Pop Chariot. Now I'm looking at it, though, and I'm like, why would I pop Ipecac on this room? This room's easy. And by Ipecac, of course, I mean the Chariot. Also, we didn't even need to go to that room. We can take the small rooms around. Help. Oh! It was a great shot! We're still good. Don't, don't sweat this one too much. Of course, we got the Spirit Heart. If possible, I would prefer to not pick up the Spirit Heart just yet. Because... We could pick it up instead when we're about to fight the boss to give us a better chance. Ten extra bombs is actually enormous for us. I think we got 2020 on this room? Which is not necessarily bad. Not necessarily good either. It makes it harder to dodge our own shots, but... Oh! <laughs> Watch out for this guy. He's got a... He's got some stuff up his sleeve. Oh good, my reflection. Okay. It's gonna be one of those rooms, huh? There we go. Landed a shot. Dun 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 dun. I think we can do the 1812 overture here. Dun 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 dun. Um, it was a total fuck up. Spiders. That's okay. That's okay. This is looking increasingly like the right way to go. want to go back and get the spirit heart. I'm prepared now. I'm ready. Willing and able. And Kane. Yeah, there we go. Probably shouldn't have picked up the spirit heart until I was 100% sure, but like... Oh, my reflection! Okay, what? Oh, thank you for the spirit heart. What is our... Triple shot. That's probably like a really good get for us here. Just never miss, as we saw earlier. Okay, then you pop the chariot. Just come in there for the kill. Oh, who, ooh, 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 ooh. What an interesting run. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.